Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is all about countering like a kickboxer. Stop throwing single counters and start putting your strikes together. All right, welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing. We're breaking down countering like a kickboxer, which means not countering with singles. One of the biggest frustrating things that I see when I'm watching fights every single weekend is seeing all of these fighters only throwing these big singles, these big power shots that aren't landing, okay? Yes, it's important to one, counter, but countering with a single never really gives as much of a benefit as countering in multiples. So that's why I'm talking about this video as countering like a true kickboxer, okay? Kickboxers are known for countering, especially the Dutch style kickboxing. It's a lot of punch to kick, kick to punch, and a lot of good rhythm. Now, there's benefits to that and there's disadvantages to it, but you need to understand that throwing the one single counter shot is not good enough these days, all right? If you're gonna spar me and, and I know and I kick this thing, I'm out first one range. You're never gonna hit your partner, unless you're fighting or sparring someone who's very inexperienced, the single counter rarely works. You have to be very good to be pressuring on the inside or have that big special knockout power. So let's talk about the real way of countering and it's like a true kickboxer. So what does that mean? So the first thing it means is one, like I just mentioned, not throwing in singles. It's very frustrating and it doesn't land. Now, even if I block and I counter and I miss, a lot of times I'll take a quick pause and then step in and close the distance again, which is what the important part of the countering is, okay? So you might have the idea that that first shot might be the one, boom, okay? If you hit it, great. But even if you hit that first shot, you're gonna most likely need a follow-up to be able to put your opponent out. So whatever that counter shot is, boom, bang, 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 following up is very nice, okay? Now, the follow-up, in my opinion, ends up being two punch heavy base. So this is where the part two of countering like a kickboxer, where it means adding the kicks. Now, I know a lot of the followers are all of different backgrounds of martial arts, but I like to reference mixed martial arts as the one that's kind of the middle ground. You got the small gloves, you got the movement, you got the distance, okay? And it still involves the similar style of countering, okay, from kickboxing. So, after you throw maybe the one, two shots, what happens a lot of times? The fighters put their hands up, right? Or they exit out, and then you miss your counter shot. So, Countering like a kickboxer, add a kick to the end of your punches, okay? Whether they're shelled up protecting the head, boom, kick the legs, they're not blocking it. So what happens when you kick the legs? They're gonna go down, which lets you go hit something else to be able to attack again. Or if you punch them in the counter and they're running away and you're just missing with the punches, your legs are longer than your arms, so just as they exit, bang, you whip the head kick. Right? Do we need to talk about Petrosian and Superbond, right? You throw punches, you get your opponent to exit. When they exit, the kick can come to the head, the kick can come to the leg, but it's the valuable time to throw the kick, especially in mixed martial arts. Why? Because in mixed martial arts, a lot of times defense is based on movement because of the small glove. In kickboxing, I might stand my ground and block two, three, four punches and be fine with the big glove and their big glove, right? But in MMA, what happens? We want to move our head, move our feet to be able to avoid those punches. That's a smart way of fighting, right? But it allows you to kick a little bit better. So if you're boxing and trying to counter someone and they're moving their head like this, guess what? Their leg is still there. Chop the leg. So throwing some punches to hit the leg and then managing your distance again is one of the best ways, okay? So... Start one, not countering in singles, start following up. If you need those little pauses, take the pause, step again, close the distance, and then touch the target, okay? Miss one, step again, I might touch you on two, and that third step even, right? I might have to do three combos before I knock you out. The first one just misses, the second one touches you, the third combination puts you out, okay? You need those follow-ups, all right? Part two, okay? adding the kick to it, whether it's to the head, the body, the leg, okay, their movement, right? If they're gonna exit from your punches, you have to throw your kick. Now everyone's gonna tell me, but you can't kick like that in MMA because you're gonna get taken down. 
when your opponent is exiting, how are they going to take me down? Okay? If they're moving away from my punches and I kick them on the exit, they might think, I'm gone at that point already. So the safest timing for your low kick in MMA is on the exit. So what you do, once they move from your punches, exit, establish your distance, you just got a brand spanking free low kick on your opponent. And that's what you want, free low kicks. Okay? Now the last point I'm going to make is making sure when you do counter, don't just hit the head. Okay? And this comes with experience. Now, usually in any of combat sports, once you hit the head, you get the arms up. Then what happens is I see everybody waste 50 punches, punching off guards, and they're, ah, and they're blasting these punches when all you have to do is take a quick second pause, punch the head, rip the body, then go back upstairs. So adding level changes to your counters are vital, right? If you want to open up the head and that's your target, don't just hit it because that's what they're protecting. Hit the body and then go back to the head, right? Now, if you want to take it one step further, you want to take it to professional level kickboxing, okay? So if you want to be sitting here countering like Bazooka Joe here, not only do you have to level change with your punches, you mix in kicks with level changes. So now, whether I'm in a small glove, big glove, no glove at all, when you're shelled up after my counter shot, I'm going to hit your body, go back to the head, go back to the leg. I've created so many different targets that you don't know which one I'm going to hit. But in my mind, ultimately one, I'm going to finish you to the leg, or I'm going to smash your liver where you're going to go down, or I'm going to find the head. And just level change you with my kicks and punches will allow me to land those punches. So one of those three, the leg, the liver, or the head, are eventually going to get it. But just focusing all your attention on the guard and wasting too much energy. And how do you think people break their hands? In an MMA glove, you're punching the elbows, you're, you're hitting the top of the head. Take a second, and you'll see guys like Israel Adesanya. When, the, when guys are shelled up, Izzy's taking angles, he's trying to uppercut you, he rips the body, he'll try to find elbows to kind of pierce your guard, okay? Knees up the middle. We're not just wasting punches and elbows off of guards, hurting our hands, strategically finding those spots, level changing with your punches and kicks, okay? So, I hope you learned from this video, right? Sometimes single counters are great. They might be enough for you, but most of the time they're not. They lead for boring fights. You need to follow things up. That's what high level fighting and IQ is, okay? If you're just one punching everybody out, you're probably not fighting people who are at your level. And eventually, you might match someone who can take those punches and you need to start adding these little tips to be able to counter a little bit more effectively, okay? So, like, subscribe, share. Make sure you head over to bazookatraining.com to make sure you get all updated training. I'm teaching you four brand new lessons every single week, plus an archive that has over 100 workouts and videos and tutorials. So four videos a week, every Monday, home drills, bag work drills, sparring drills, and tutorials, okay? So if you have a bag at home or at the gym, I got you covered. You should see all the different lessons we have on there from beginner to intermediate to advanced, all cover. You don't have a bag, I have home workout section where you can practice in your living room if you want. Tutorials and sparring drills just to get you thinking. Grab your partner at work. You can basically do bazooka kickboxing and MMA anywhere at any time, okay? So head over to bazookatraining.com and it's only $9.99 per month, okay? Also head to the channel sponsor, Hayabusa, by going to hayabusafight.com. We also have Perfect Sports Nutrition and bazookashop.com. All right, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. 
The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.